The Drakensberg Boys Choir is touted as South Africa's singing ambassadors. Among the school's core values is the commitment to being honest, fair and reliable. But one mother is questioning this. In 2018, her 13-year-old son was allegedly raped by a boy a year older than him. For two days, management told her nothing. She later learned a 14-year-old boy allegedly assaulted her son and forced him to perform oral sex. The mother then opened a criminal case. Despite this, the school convened a disciplinary hearing. The father of the accused cross-examined her son and other witnesses. It was quite aggressive, definitely with the intention to discredit and intimidate the young boys. I believe that they were all questioned um, by the father. Um, the school psychologist was present um, and did um, call the person to order. The chairperson concluded that the accuser's involvement in the incident was not coerced. He found the boy may also be implicated in a breach of the school's rules, but the mother disagrees. I haven't been privy to the final report, um, but it was found that both boys were guilty of improper sexual conduct on the school premises. But an NPA prosecutor thought otherwise. A decision was made to prosecute the older boy on a charge of rape. The mother believes the disciplinary hearing was an effort to sweep the matter under the carpet. I think it was more important for them to protect what the outside world thought of the school than it was to actually protect the children that were involved. The director for the Centre for Child Law says teachers have a legal duty to report allegations of a sex crime against a minor. It's problematic to have an approach that just says, oh, they were just children, particularly where it's clear that um, the other child did not consent. You know, if it's consensual, it's a totally different thing. But when one child is clearly um, uh, saying, I'm a victim of something that went wrong, you have to have justice for them in that there has to be an acknowledgement that something wrong was done to them. Karabo Oza says a 14-year-old child is legally presumed to have criminal capacity. You get charged and then you have to go through the court process as provided for in the Child Justice Act. You must remember we do at least have that system that provides for protective measures for how child, children who offend or who commit crimes must be dealt with. The mother says people have accused her of being malicious. No, I'm not trying to destroy the school. I would just like the school to be accountable for things that go on there so that any parent that has got their child there has the security of knowing that they will always put your boy's best interests first. The father of the accused has declined to comment, saying the matter is before the courts. But Principal Greg Brooks insists the school dealt with this matter appropriately in terms of the school's code of conduct. He says the school has and will cooperate with any request for assistance to ensure the rule of law is adhered to. Barry Bateman, Johannesburg.